leader does not necessarily need to be a good manager. Neither a good manager needs necessarily to be a good leader. But it's advisable cultivating qualities of both. A manager can self-improve if he or she is also a leader. Manage people more efficiently is a factor that contributes significantly for the success of a project. A leader who is a good manager can achieve better results than a leader who does not know or does not apply good management principles. When we think of a leader, usually we think of someone who speaks well with remarkable personal presence, who inspires others to work towards an objective. When we think of a manager, we usually think of someone methodical, with control of the situation, and with enough information to manage well. At first sight, these characteristics could be complementary, but there is an overlay between management and leadership qualities. This video focuses on leadership. We have another course about management, so here we will discuss how a manager can self-improve and become a leader and not the opposite. 1. It is very difficult to find a manager who has a great knowledge of details and, to the same extent, a vision of the future. Generally speaking, in order to a manager become a leader, she needs someone in her team who works with more focus on details while she concentrates on the broader picture and tries to be at least one step ahead regarding the current situation. Two, a manager will not be a good leader if he is locked in his office or cabinet. Only speaking, and listening to people in his inner circle. The leader must go to where the action is, listen to as many people as possible, consider different points of view in order to make better decisions, get in tune with his team and the people who will be impacted by his decisions, and communicate frequently with them. Three. When a manager makes a mistake, she must admit it and look for remediation. A leader, more than that, should learn with her errors and avoid their repetition. Be by herself, be by her team. The responsibility of a leader is broader than the responsibility of a manager. 4. A good practice for a manager in distress in a risky situation, is asking for help, be from his team, be from his boss. This is also true for a leader, but for him, it could happen that he does not have a hierarchical superior. In this case, the leader should look for help from his followers and from other leaders, which is typically more difficult to be done due to the self-sufficiency image some aspiring leaders often insist in building. Teamwork with other leaders is a must. Five, a leader must have courage and challenge situations whenever is necessary. A manager can do the same, of course, but usually risk aversion and more limited freedom of movement can make it difficult to challenge the status quo preferring making mistakes through executing what is expected from him or her than having a chance of doing it right by taking a risk. We could extend this analysis to additional characteristics, but as the best can be the enemy of the good, managers who work in improving these five characteristics would be in a good path for becoming true leaders. We'll continue our course in the next video. Until then, 